the vlog, I think. So Miss Macy got first in her novice class last night, Yay. and second in her open class, and next up is Miami, but first is brunch. And we're at St. Anejo, and we're gonna get probably everything, maybe a Bloody Mary. Oh, oh you know, it's fine. We will see, but today is Macy's day to, you know, not track anything before, look at that diet face though. <laughs> So we got some French toast. Uh, I think that's peanut butter and banana and syrup. Some dark chocolate waffles. Holy crap. That's a cute face. Guys, so I'm just getting home from Nashville right now. Um, I'm very excited to go in and see Bruiser, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Um, I had so much fun going to see Macy at her show. Um, she, I think I said it in the last clip, but she ended up getting second in her class and first in novice, which is freaking amazing. Tennessee, Tennessee shows are very, um, very competitive. This is the Flex Classic. Um, so it's a really big show, or Flex Lewis Classic. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting. A lot of people asked me like, oh, how do you feel like seeing, um, seeing people compete like how do you feel about the stage like doesn't it make you like want to get up there again and I'm like look I am like totally at peace with the decision that like right now it's not my time um I want my body to respond very well next time that I diet and if I were to start dieting now it would just not happen um and I'm totally like I just want to be smart with my body like I just want to do what's healthiest for me not what I want to do the most but Essentially what I want to do the most is what's healthiest for me, which is to wait um, but obviously a huge part of me like wanted to push just because but Being at her show Definitely made me feel like no, I'm, I'm not ready to step on stage again and like that's okay um, I also talked to her coach Casey Samsel who um, she was she competed at the Olympia she placed top five I think she placed either either fourth or fifth in bikini um she looks absolutely amazing she's like if you know like what the top five girls look like there she's the one that's like the tallest of all of them um and she's such a sweet kind person and just spending the weekend with macy like it was just such a fun time and i can't wait to go back when like her and i can both just like foodie all day in nashville nashville is like easily one of my favorite cities we didn't end up going out to dinner last night but we just kind of like snacked on some goodies and then today we went to brunch at St. Anejo in Nashville which is like a Mexican place but they have really good brunch and I got French toast which you saw so it was delicious I'm gonna go inside and play with Bruiser and it's like super rainy but I need to go do cardio so I'm gonna play with Bruiser for a little bit and then go do cardio and take you guys along for my Ab routine if I can freaking remember because god when was the last time I recorded a workout on my channel dear lord anyway gonna go do that and I'll catch you guys in the next clip All right, you guys, so I remember telling you that I would show you the Modus apparel items that they sent me. So I'm gonna try on the leggings and the black pants and just show you. So I didn't, um, they sent them to me free of charge, but they would have been, the mesh leggings would have been 70, the black ones would have been 60, and then that cropped up. Um, I was right in my last video where I said that was 30. So yeah, I'm gonna try those on. These are both an extra small, which Lord knows if I can fit in that right now, but let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so I just ate. So I'm a little bit, you know, like kind of bloated a little bit, but these are the gray leggings with the white. I feel like I can never make myself look flattering when I'm like filming myself. Like I look much stumpier than I feel like I actually am. These are the gray ones with like the white mesh detail right there. Um, I think they're really cute. I don't know 
Um, I don't know how they would hold up in the gym. I mean, they seem to be, I think they're a little like, they're a little big in the waist. Um, I like how high waisted they do go, but I kind of right now I'm like, if I was competition lean, like these would not fit me whatsoever. But just for like the average everyday pair of pants, they're really cute, a little more like athleisure. Um, they're kind of like a cotton blend, so I feel like butt crack sweat would obviously like show through them very, very much so. This lighting right here right now is like my, I love it. I'm a big fan. Maybe I just like did a lot of makeup today. I don't know. But I'm going to try on, I don't even want to try on the black ones because like black leggings are just like black leggings. Maybe I'll put them on after my workout. I don't know. I just want to get to the gym. So I'm probably just going to do that. But I think I want to put on like some aligned pants or something, something that I can like sprint in and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. So I just had on those pants, I took them off and I put on a pair of my Lululemon pants that I got for the Olympia because I needed black ones. And I was very quickly reminded of why I wear Lululemon and pretty much nothing else when it comes to workout pants. Like honestly, I really don't. Um, oh, it's like, it's so harsh to give my honest opinion of stuff. I really, really genuinely love the crop top from Modus Apparel. Um, it, the material is very great. I think it's, if you, I'm sure someone has a discount code where you can like take whatever percent off and pay like 24 bucks. I think the top would probably be worth like 24, n maybe not 30. Um, but the leggings, the mesh ones, not worth $70 in my opinion. Um, the black ones, definitely not worth 60. Um, they're kind of something similar to what you would get at like Target that charges like 24.99. They just like have the Modus like logo on them. Um, I just feel like if you're going to be charging that much, like think about Gymshark and how quality Gymshark is for like the price that they are. They're charging $50 and they're pretty high quality. Like you can't charge 60 freaking dollars for a, a basic black crop that I can literally get at Target and it's not that quality. Like you just can't. That just drives me um, insane. So it's just me giving you guys my honest opinion. Um, I think the gray ones are really cute in terms of fashion. Like I would definitely give those like an 8 out of 10. I really like the look. Um, but in terms of like gym comfort, maybe like a, like a five and a half, a six out of ten, like I can just tell they wouldn't be like a fun to move around in legging that like I could tell they would be like sliding all over the place on my waist. Like you want a waistband that's like tight enough, but like not too tight to where it's squeezing you like it needs to like be able to stay up. There's like, there's a fine line and Lululemon has figured that out. Hence why a lot of people buy freaking Lululemon. Um, but anyway. I'm gonna actually head to the gym now, so yeah. I'll get you guys in the next one. Change plans, didn't end up going to the gym, was petting Bruiser while I was getting ready to leave to discover he had sleeves, so I have to give him a flea bath. Oh, what? One, two, three, four! But like, do you even fit this if you're not eating a lean cuisine pizza and Halo Top for dinner on a Sunday night after giving your dog a flea bath? Because <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't feel like cooking anything. I just want to eat. Oh. By the way, this is definitely my favorite flavor. I'm the new Halo Top flavors. It's higher in calorie, obviously, but the flavor for me is the most spot on. My macros have been like, literally today, full day of eating. <laughs> so I went to Macy's show last night. I had part of like a blondie this morning, like a brownie blondie. I don't know what's in those. It's like a cookie thing. Half of one this morning, French toast, protein bar. Um. Blueberries, banana, saltine crackers with cheese, Oreos, Halo Top Lean Cuisine. <laughs> Hashtag fitness. <laughs> LOL. What is my life? So, like, my gym is 24 7. I could obviously go if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. And. 
my glutes are still really sore from Friday. I want to be really fresh for my leg day tomorrow. I don't want to go into a leg day on Monday just like dragging just because I made myself go to the gym at 11.30 at night on a Sunday night. So, I'm going to eat relax with a little bit of like Netflix and chill and snuggle with my flea baby and um, hit the hay. So, I will catch you guys in the next clip. Don't know if that'll be it. I really would like to upload this video tomorrow. Um, but there's not going to be, well, I guess I could film my workout in the morning and then get it up for you guys. I'm a mess. My life is just like, who, who even am I if I'm not prepping? My life is so unorganized and like I'm eating linguistic and hail the top. But anyway, that's everyone's life though. You know, like whatever. Uh, can you stop licking everything? That's probably what you have, please. Just kidding. I love you. I can't. Like I, I honestly just, I can't. Like, why are you so cute, sir? Like, you're so cute, huh? How did you get to be so cute? Did you get it from me? No, it doesn't work like that. Look at those eyes. Those eyeballs. Okay, we're gonna go and we'll see you guys in the next clip. It's so hard to do anything. Um, I'm actually about to leave, though. I'm gonna do, um, like a little bit of an ab routine. Like a morning ab routine. Um, because I missed abs yesterday, and I doubt that I'll, like, have the energy to do them today on leg day, so I'm going to do abs. Then I'm going to go to Starbucks, get some work done, get this video edited up, and then I'm going to head to the gym. So, I'll catch you guys in the next clip, probably for my ab routine, or to show you my breakfast. Yeah. So, I get a ton of questions on how to make my, um, oats more voluminous, and although I'm not dieting, I still try to get the most volume that I possibly can. So right now, I have half of a serving of oats, which ends up being 20 grams, which is a fourth of a cup. So that's four tablespoons of oats. It's not that much. Um, you can kind of tell there's just not that much in there. So what I'm going to do is add, which are on the scale, wait for it to go, put this on there, zero it out, add in... Now I'm going to add in 46 grams, which is one serving. It took me forever to um, kind of figure this out too. So now the key is to whisk them around with a fork. Um, otherwise they get clumpy and I microwave them for like another minute or two. But usually after the first minute, I take it out I stir it a little bit, I add some water. If you don't whisk it around, they are going to get clumpy on you and you'll be able to, to tell there's egg whites in your oats. And we don't want that. So once that's done my craving, I'm then going to add my protein. And today, so I usually only do half a scoop total, so I'm going to do a fourth of a scoop of the peanut butter ghost cereal milk one and a fourth of a scoop of the milk chocolate because I kinda wanted to taste a little like peanut butter chocolatey delicious concoction milk chocolate by ghost is like highly underrated i would say god it's really freaking hard i mean blueberry toaster pastry is my favorite but it's it's honestly hard for me to differentiate like not differentiate oh my god it's really hard for me to make a choice between these two because they're both freaking delicious i'm sure you already know that i have a discount code with ghost but it's not it's fit by kai kai it's in the description box below this video down there you can see the discount code and finished product with a clump of peanut butter on top because yum so before you even tell me yes i know this is easily the most fashionable outfit and background you've ever seen in your entire life so for my everyday ab routine i do a minute of a plank i do 30 leg lifts and then i switch to a side plank for 30 seconds i do both sides and then I repeat that circuit three times, so you're going to end up doing three of every single move. And, you know, dog kisses are not required for ab activation, but, I mean, they certainly help because you very quickly forget how many you've already done, and you might end up doing, like, 40 instead of 30, 
and you get some puppy cuddle time, so that's like always clutch. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.